All right, I wanted to do this quick video to show you how to do separate drum tracks in the Stephen Slate SSD 5.5 drum program. Works with the free or the paid version, and I'll put a link below. The first thing you'll want to do is insert a virtual instrument track and then select the Stephen Slate drums from your list of options. Give it a couple moments to load after you've selected it. After a couple moments, you're going to get this option screen. You'll want to select yes at this point. This will load multiple tracks and then bring up the uh, program itself. On the left, you'll want to click the create button and then choose a drum set. And in the paid or the free version, you'll have several sets to choose from. Double click the set you want and give it a couple seconds to load as you see it load at the bottom of the screen. Once the drum set's loaded, you can click on the mix button and this will bring up the mixer. We need to change these to match what you want for your tracks. In this case, I want the kick to go to track one, so I'm gonna choose one. I want the snare to go to track two, so I'm gonna choose track two. I'm used to live work, so I want the hat in track three. Since these are stereo outputs, you could put all the toms on one track and do your mixing as far as your balance and your levels from here, or you could go ahead and just put them into separate tracks and do it from Reaper itself. I'm gonna go ahead and give them individual tracks. Just make sure you assign everything here to the track you want it to be in. Some of the kits have multiple mics on the drums like a kick in and a kick out. On those type of sets, you can have all those kick mics be one track in Reaper, or you can have those tracks be separate. It's up to you. The only thing left to do at this point is to individually name the tracks so you know what is in each track. Part two of this is you might already have your drum track recorded and so you're not starting from scratch. In that case, there's a solution for that too that's pretty simple. Just select the FX on your drum track so you can see the drum plug-in. Mouse over to options at the top of the window. Here you will see an option for build multi-channel routing. You'll want to select yes. It will then build the tracks for you. At this point, you'll want to go back into the drum plug-in and you'll want to go to the mixer tab again. Mark mix. You'll follow the same routine as before. Change each output to the track you want and name the tracks. One thing I've done when starting from scratch, I go ahead and build out my drum tracks, several bass tracks, guitar tracks, vocal tracks, acoustic tracks, the things I'm most likely to need in a project. Then I save this all as a template in Reaper. This way I can start a project with my drums all ready to go and all my tracks and basic workflow ready. One last tip if you didn't already know this, you'll likely have tracks you didn't use for the drums and you're going to want to delete those. With Reaper on the PC, click the first track you're going to want to delete. Now hold down shift, take your mouse to the last track you want to delete, click on it. That should highlight all the tracks you've chosen. Now just right click and choose remove tracks. And that's all there is to it. Hopefully you found this video useful. Please subscribe. Thank you.